considering the fact that Kelly Stargell is my mother and sent me to a troubled teen facility whenever I was only 15, I don't think that she really has a right to tell you or anybody else who can and can't be a mother because she wasn't even a mother to her own children. Yes, you heard that correctly. Kelly Stargle's daughter, Hannah Stargle, has spoken out against her mother. Kelly Stargle is a Republican representing Florida's 22nd district and is running for Congress. This is the best anti-endorsement I've seen in a while and I commend Hannah for her bravery. I don't think it's ever easy to speak out against a parent, especially when they are, are a popular figure in the public. However, Hannah couldn't tolerate her intolerance, mother's lies and hypocrisy anymore. Kelly totes herself as someone with strong family values and ties, but her daughter alleges that can't be further from the truth. Hannah recounts several instances of neglect from her childhood. One particular account where her mother sent her to a camp for troubled teens with money Hannah received from a settlement in a car accident she was in when she was 14 years old. Unfortunately, her experiences don't get better. In another video, Hannah shares out how she came out to her mother as bisexual two years ago. Her mother's response was to buy her chocolates with rainbow wrapping. However, several days later, Kelly passed an anti-LGBTQ bill banning trans students from sports. This is the same senator who passed the bill saying that trans middle schoolers and high schoolers will have a harder time to play sports in the state of Florida than even in the Olympics. This is the same woman who wouldn't feed me if I didn't go to church on Sunday. After numerous years of telling me I was hard to love, um, putting me through tons of years of neglect, putting politics before everything else, and honestly just being a horrible, horrible person to look up to. Is this really somebody you want up in DC passing laws for you and your children, telling you what to do with your body? If I can do anything in my power to make sure that Kelly Stargell does not become the Congresswoman for Florida, that would be awesome. I want you all to pay close attention to that last part. It really showcases the hypocrisy of the right. It's good for their kids, albeit behind closed doors, but not for your children. They only believe the crap they do to appeal to their homophobic base, even when their own children are members or advocates of the LGBTQ community. Hannah stated that she was disappointed by her mother's two-faced position and cut her out of her life. Her only request towards her mother now, don't vote for her. And I agree. I'm sick and tired of the debate surrounding the rights of LGBTQ people. We have been arguing for this for decades and we already know the answer. The right constantly drags us back into these discussions, preventing progress on issues we've been trying to solve or have solved already. They don't want us to move forward. It's exhausting. What's even more senator about this story is that Kelly Stargle voted to pass the Don't Say Gay bill, knowing deep down that would impact her daughter. That's messed up and low down. That doesn't sound like a mother who puts family first. Which brings me to my point. The Republican Party will do any and everything to win, even if it means hurting people. Their families aren't off limits. Their constituents off aren't off limits. And with what has recently happened, even the deaths of children aren't off limits. The right isn't here to protect or save anyone. Their purpose is to cash in on oppression, harm, and even the deaths of Americans. <sighs> As this week comes to a close, I urge everyone to find solace and rest with their loved ones and communities. Recuperation is so important as we prepare to protest and stand against the subjugation of the right. I'm going to close with a few tips you can take to help you decompress. Deep breathing. Talking it out is so helpful. A short exercise. Definitely go outdoors. Take a full day of rest. Disconnect from your electronics and social media. Meditate and write out a list of things you appreciate about life. Thank you all for watching Rebel HQ. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and have a restful weekend.